What's up YouTube, Zombie Kangaroo here. Just doing a short little tutorial on selective coloring. And what that is, is you're pretty much taking a color image and turning it to a grayscale image and only letting a little bit see through, such as this, or retain its color. Okay, so just exit out of this. Okay, for our model in the picture today, or whatever you want to call it, we're using Amy Lee from Evanescence. So, let's get started. First off, we need to duplicate the original layer, the color layer, and on the top layer, turn it to black and white. And to do that, go to Image, Adjustments, and black and white. On Photoshop, all the other photoshops besides CS4, I think it is called um, grayscale. And you don't have to do what I just did, it just makes it a little more contrasty. But, um, okay, so we got this. And the thing that we want to do is think of this grayscale image up here as a picture and you're laying the exact same picture on top of a colored picture of itself. All you want to do is cut out some pieces from the grayscale picture to see the color on the bottom. So to do that, we click the mask tool, and or add layer mask, and uh, it adds a mask, and everything that's white on a mask does not show through to the bottom image. If it's black on the mask, then it shows through and becomes transparent. Okay, so to do that, you just go over here and make sure your foreground color is black, and then go up to the paintbrush. Actually, before the paintbrush, go to the magnify tool and zoom in on the place that you want to color, for this case, the mouth. Okay, then go over to the paintbrush tool. And then you can go up here and select your settings. Now, for your meter master diameter, um, you just want to have it big enough for your picture or whatever you're coloring in. So, for mine, this works pretty good. Um, and then your hardness level, I would suggest having somewhere around 50%. Because um, it's not too hard, not too soft. But, okay, so, and then once you're done, just start coloring in the mask to let it show through. Okay, now since this is a mask, let's say you mess up somewhere. So let's say you just, uh, I don't know, let's just, you really messed up right there. Uh, yeah, your cat jumped up on you. You had no idea what happened and that happened. Um, instead of going to edit undo, you could do that. But let's say it's a few steps back or whatever. Um, you Since it is a mask, you can just go to white and paint over the black to make it not transparent anymore. So to do that, just switch your foreground and background colors. And just paint over it, like so. And you can do this in many areas. So let's say, like for instance, I took too much skin there. You could just touch it up and take it off. And you can do this as many times as you want. So if you, in as many different areas as you want. So let's say instead of just the mouth, you wanted all her skin to be colored. So I'll switch back to your black, go to your paintbrush again. And you probably want to make it a little bit bigger because um, you're using a bigger surface. So I'll go up to about, that's good. And uh, just color it in. Like so. Okay, well, apparently that is only like the tip of the iceberg in selective coloring. I mean, you, you can still do a whole lot of things with that, even more into it. But that's just the basics of it. Some people make it harder than it seems, and it's really not. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you want me to do any more tutorials on anything, just 
put it in the comments and I will get to it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you later.